State of Decay 2 has finally released for Xbox One and PC for those that have the Deluxe Edition pre-order. And though the game just came out and I only have a few hours of playtime in there, I figured it would be a good idea to give you guys my initial first impressions, a slight review, and a before you buy of this game for those of you that are still on the fence about if you want to purchase this game or not. For those that don't want to stick around and me discuss pros and cons of this game, here is the shortest answer I can give you. If you enjoyed the first State of Decay, you had a lot of fun playing it, were able to replay it a lot, and had an overall good experience, then the odds are is that you are going to love State of Decay 2, as that is my personal feeling. I put a lot of time into the first State of Decay, I really enjoyed playing the game, and to me it had a lot of replayability factor. While many of the game's story aspects were linear, I really enjoyed playing it time after time, so it didn't really get too dull for me. Let me start off by saying that this is not your typical zombies game. You're not just running around and your only objective is not to just kill zombies. It's a lot more complex than that. While it's still a pretty simple game, there is more to it than just running around and killing what they call Zeds in this game. No, it's about building a community. You need to scavenge for materials. Your community needs these resources. You need to have medicine to heal up people and if they get sick and whatnot. You need to have weapons, you need to have food, you need to have materials to upgrade your facilities. So it's a little bit more in depth than just, uh, well, okay, I need to have a gun and I need to have ammo. You need to search for these materials, scavenge houses, search that, kill zombies along the way, but you're building your community in the long run. And that's something I really do enjoy about this game. I really loved it about the first, that it's a little more in-depth, as I said. Scavenging for materials, personally, I think is really fun. Sometimes it can get a little bit repetitive, of course, but, I mean, in the long run, you are literally building your community. I had a ton of fun with all of these mechanics in the first game, and I'm already having a blast playing this game. So, one thing they did add to this game that I am really happy they did. It's something that a lot of people were nitpicking about in the first game was that there was no multiplayer. While you had a whole community and there was a lot of people in your community, you could not play with your friends if you wanted to. It was strictly a solo game. And this game has expanded upon that. You are able to play with your friends. I believe it's up to four friends in one game. So they can just join in or, or drop out of your community uh, at any time. You can change those settings where anybody can join your game and no one can join your game so it's a solo session or that only your friends can join your game i really like that it's something that a lot of people were wanting in the first state of decay and i'm really glad they brought it into this one just gives you that little extra benefit you're playing with your friends you're having a good time joke around do whatever you got to do i really enjoy that there's multiplayer in this game i think that's going to be some of the biggest selling points for people is they didn't really enjoy the first one because of no multiplayer but you have it now so there's that with the Deluxe Edition, they will be adding a sort of a horde mode. If you did read the description of that, they're, they're going to be adding more stuff to the game. So it's not just going to be your typical linear, uh, here's your story, here's the zombies you got to kill, here's your objectives. They're going to be adding some more stuff to the game, so it's going to give it a little bit more life. Again, something I really enjoy about this game. It is really survival-based. Again... You have to scavenge for those materials. You're not just killing zombies. I like that there is that survival aspect. People in your community will get sick if they get bitten by zombies or whatnot. There is a chance of that. There is different types of zombies in this game. Many of the same ones you saw in the first game are still here, like the Screecher and all those zombies. But now they have a new one. It's the Blood Plague where you can get infected. And you're going to need to get those materials to save those people so that you can find the cure for that Blood Plague and not have to execute people in your community. But... Odds are you might have to do that a time or two because this game is kind of scarce on some resources. It's going to take you a little bit to find some things. While there's a lot of room, the map is pretty large and not as large as, say, Skyrim, but it's still a pretty decently sized map. I have not yet to explore it all. Again, only have a few hours played into the game, but there is that resource management. People can get sick. People will die. So you're not going to make it through the game having every single survivor make it to the end. I just It's not going to work like that. You probably will lose some people along the way. But with that being said, it's still a very fun experience. I like that there is that survival aspect. That bit of quote-unquote realism where it is people will get sick. People need to eat food. People need medicine. They need to sleep. 
you get tired over time. If you play with one character for too long, their stamina will decrease because they've been awake. They've been doing stuff for way too long, and you will not have max stamina, so you can switch off to another player. You have your little skill tree where you can upgrade the more you're running, the more you're fighting. These things will be upgraded. You have those little things there to kind of increase your stats the more you play. So the more you play, the better off your character is going to be. Again, something I really like. The weapons in this game, I really do enjoy. Large variety of guns, so you got your pistols, your snipers, your shotguns, all those things, your rifles. All of those things are in the game. They have their wide assortment of blunt weapons versus bladed weapons. So obviously, if you have a machete, it's probably going to do more than a baseball bat. Uh, just that being said, it's a zombies game. You know, a sharper object, going to do a little bit better. You have your executions like you did in the original State of Decay. So if you uh, go stealth mode, you can come up behind a zombie if they don't notice you. You can kill them with one swift move if they're on the ground, this and that. I really enjoy that stuff. It's the small things in the game that if they weren't added, it probably wouldn't be too missed. But the fact that they are there and we've had them since the first State of Decay, something I really do enjoy. Now, there are only a few cons that I found with this game. Again, I really do have a ton of fun playing it, so these are kind of nitpicky. I've seen it on the subreddit, people complaining about this. Uh, one thing that kind of jarred me in the beginning when I started playing is there is motion blur in this game. Uh, a lot of games do implement some sort of a motion blur mechanic, but this one does not have the ability to disable it. For those that are on PC, if you go on the Reddit, that people have some sort of a, a way that you can look into it where you can disable that or decrease the uh, intensity of it. But that motion blur was jarring for a little bit. I've grown used to it at this point. But for those of you that don't like motion blur, that is in this game. So that might be a little bit of a turnoff for you. Um, there is no field of view slider in this game either. Again, something that people on PC have somehow found a workaround to. But if you're a, an Xbox player or a console player, uh, you cannot uh, disable that motion blur or uh, change the field of view. Nothing I'm really too concerned about. I've been playing console games basically all of my life, so I'm, I'm used to not having a field of view slider. Games that have it, I absolutely adore. I love having a field of view slider. But personally, myself, it's not that much of a, a deterrent for me playing the game. It, it does not bother me too much. Again, that motion blur is probably the only thing that annoys me, but I've grown used to it at this point. The controls are very similar to the first State of Decay, if not the exact same. Um, and they are a bit wonky at times. Sometimes you're trying to run to this area or... You know, maneuver yourself in a specific way and it doesn't go the exact way as intended, but not every game does have perfect controls, especially with a third person game like this. So controls can be a little bit weird at time in terms of movement, but I think the shooting and the fighting mechanics are really well implemented. I think those are really well optimized. I have no problems when I'm shooting zombies or when I'm stabbing zombies or anything like that. So no problems there. Your NPCs, the non-player characters in this game are actually not complete garbage. They will kill some zombies, they will hold some zombies for you to, to kill them in one swift move, and they will get hurt, so maybe they're not as smart as a real player, but they still do offer you some benefit. They're not just there to take up space. No, they will help you with things. They can go scavenge materials if you want them to, so I like that about this game. Again, very similar to the way the first State of Decay was. Your NPCs are not completely useless. While you are going to end up doing most of the legwork, you can play with your actual friends. So if you really don't feel like playing with NPCs, play with a squad of people. The graphics themselves are not the best. They're kind of similar to the first game. Uh, they are obviously upgraded. They're a lot better than the first game. But this game really isn't about the graphics. It doesn't look bad at all. A few people have seen some misshapen geometry and, and a few of those texture glitches. But myself, I have not came into contact with those. But again, this game isn't about the graphics. But it does look very pretty. I enjoy the look of the game. I have absolutely no problems. I don't think it's... Uh, I don't think the game is downgraded. Could it look better? Yeah, sure, if they put a lot more time and money into it. But for the price of this game only being $50 for a deluxe edition, I wasn't expecting to have the most high-end graphics. And it's something I'm totally not complaining about. But I'm also playing on the original Xbox One. I don't have a BVBC and I do not have an Xbox One X. So... That being said, my graphics probably not as good as some other people, but they're not bad. I really, I like the art style of the game. I like the way it looks. I have no complaints there. 
One thing I've seen that people are kind of on the fence about, they don't know if they like it or don't like it, is that cars are now gas guzzlers, where in the first game you could just drive a car indefinitely. This one you actually have gas cans, you have to refill the car, it will run out of fuel. It's something I actually personally enjoy, cars seem to run out of fuel pretty quickly, but you can find gas, it's it's not like it's a extremely rare commodity to find in this game, but... Cars do take up a lot of gas. They will run out of gas pretty quickly. Again, something I'm not really... I don't hate it. Some people do. I think I like that kind of realism aspect of, well, technically, yeah, in a zombie apocalypse, gas is not going to be the most abundant resource. You're going to have some problems finding it. But in the long run, once you build your base up a little bit more, I'm sure you'll have more than enough gas. You'll be able to take that with you, fill up your car. And there's not too many areas in the map where you're going to be completely stranded. But even then... You run, you do run pretty quickly, so it's not like you're going to be stuck out there and it's going to take you 40 minutes to go back to a house and find some more gas. There's an option in the game where if you do end up getting stuck, uh, you're in an area where you are stuck, you can select this option and that will respawn you somewhere or will spawn you pretty close. So it's those little things that I really enjoy, but other than that, I've been having a ton of fun playing this game so far. Again, if you enjoyed the first State of Decay, you had a lot of fun with it. Uh, I think you're going to really enjoy State of Decay 2. You can play with your friends. It's essentially just a better version of the first State of Decay. I can't wait to be putting more time into this. Let me know what you guys think. Are you buying State of Decay 2 or are you just going to skip out on this one? Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Thank you for sticking around and watching this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheerio, mates.